Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we are doing a challenge. We are going to try and destroy my FPS on this computer. And we're going to do that by create, oh, having a high population count. But first, in the last episode, we just started, we went through all the mods and we did a basic setup for the iron teeth. Now, as you might have seen, things have changed a bit. I had to get more food and I have been doubling down. I went deep into science because there is so much we need to learn. There's so much we need to unlock and so much we need to do. But in this episode, what do I want to do? I want to get power done and I want to get some bread started because this is taking up too much space. <laughs> this is going to take up way too much space as we grow our population. So bread is the best uh, space efficiency food that you can have as i'm aware from what i'm aware of that's the best one you can have so we're going to start doing that and again all do, in order to that we would need some sort of power and all that jazz so if we take a look i'm actually in the drought right now but our water supply comes down here and comes out here so i'm looking for now for now to get a water bone here and i'm actually thinking we're going to get a big one now I have a place where I want to pull it, but I don't know if it's actually going to work. <laughs> so I'm going to pull it here. Done. So we're going to do that and we're going to see how much power that actually produces. If it produces a fair amount of power, then we would actually keep that there for now. We're going to change that eventually. And then once we get bread up and running, I want to start making an entrance because I'm going to turn this place into a massive castle. It's going to have watchtowers and all that jazz. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. But we need an entrance and I think the entrance is going to be over this waterfall. So I think we need to start maybe squaring it out a bit because I kind of want it to come out of here, all around here and along here and across here. So the river is actually going to be inside the castle and we're going to have the castle gates here bridging out into something and we'll go from there. We might have another entrance as well around here somewhere and around here just so it's easier to get around the place. And once we sort of start building that perimeter, we'll know what we're working with and we can actually start organizing the area. So there's, there's quite a few things to do. There's quite a few things to do, but we can get it done. Let's get this done and let's see how much power it's actually going to be. Okay, so we finally got it running and it's hitting about 260 uh, horsepower. So that's not too bad because to be fair, right now we only need 60, but that will power a planks, uh, what are they called? Plank mill or lumber mill, sorry, and a gear workshop. So that all together is 110 and 120, that's 230. It would do just about, it, it would slow the production to down about 90% or something like that, but that's not too bad. Because as you can see, I have loads of planks. <laughs> I have loads of planks, I'm not really worried about that. And um, we're not really using that many resources that fast. Anyways, we're also gonna need to irrigate some of this area. Now we don't have dynamites to get a flow going in here. So we might have to build a little um, drop off, water drop off thing, a water dump, that's the word. So we're not gonna do that just yet because I don't need it just now, but we will eventually need it. So let's get on to making bread. So I have actually already unlocked the stuff that we need and we're gonna keep it quite close and fancy so we don't need to take up too much space at the moment. Can I just put that straight on there? Is that a thing? <laughs> is that a thing? Let's let's see if that, is, that actually works. I hope it does, because that'll be absolutely amazing. Let's get some the pathing down here. Let's move this. And if that does work, well, are we missing gears? I knew there'd be something. Okay, so let's get some gears going. Okay, for gears, I've got something like this. 
and it's just a temporary measure until we get around 20 gears and then we will figure out something up here so while they start building that let's get a bakery down here now i believe i can put is it two grits mills to one bakery is it just one to one i believe it's around two but we're gonna put space for two so if we pause that i'm not gonna build that just yet and we put that there okay cool you know what we should just build it we'll leave that there for now we'll leave that there for now and we'll just do something like this no that doesn't even need power what am i doing so yeah we'll see how that works out for us let's hope we can get enough bread to i want to get about 30 beavers for now because we've got a lot of work to do we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need builders huts because we're gonna be producing or we're gonna be building a lot of things to get this colony started so let's start that now what do i need to tackle i need to get someone in here and i need to get someone in here so that can go down by one that will go up by one that will produce uh gears at a 42 percent production which is not too bad at least it's coming we just need 20 and that'll be absolutely fine oh we need 30 never mind <laughs> never mind we might need a bit more power and in order to do that we can easily just do something like okay we can't easily do anything we can do something like this put that there and then we'll get someone on that and that will give us around 100 horsepower so that'll be very close to max production on the gear workshop so i'll see you guys in a sec okay so i tested it and it did not work <laughs> it did not work connected to that so we're gonna have to break we broke it down and we build in it now it will work like this because you did see the cogwheel and that was a a bit of a hint i should have taken that hint on i thought maybe it might not show it for some small reason but it was right it doesn't work so while they do that let's sort of design our wheat field and also i want to expand on our water because as you can see we're going into a drought and we haven't got full water so we want to make sure that doesn't happen so first of all um let's get i think i'm okay with science for now and let's get some more people or beavers on building so things move a little bit faster now i want to get rid of this blueberry area and move over here i don't need that many <laughs> that's far too many blueberries so we're gonna just delete a lot of that let's uh get all of that done and i think like that for now until these grow up i think i'm gonna leave a few here but as you can see look we're only using like six or seven of them maybe even eight at max before they regrow again and we just don't use them and look we're full on berries we're absolutely fine with berries so we can change that completely now while they do that <laughs> we are gonna be expanding this bad boy so again as i like to do we're going to be going over the lake at one point i do kind of want to blow up this area to six down and that will give us a lot more storage for water natural storage we'll have plenty of artificial storage but it'll be good to have some natural storage for droughts just in case so the plan is really is to bring that all the way out there and that all the way out there now we are going to put oh i was hoping to do it like that that would have been amazing i would have done it here and here and then move these out move this out and put a path in the middle maybe at some point i can blow this up so i can actually do it it's just gonna mean that they're gonna be blocked for a little bit which is not too bad i don't mind doing that it's all right oh it's always nice to be prepared right so you know what let's do it let's do it so we're gonna delete that 
And we're going to put that like that. And then we're going to need to put one right here. So that would give us two spaces in the middle. And that will let us allow us to make a little pathway going out into here, which is amazing. We've got to think of water storage as well, because that is going to be a thing. This line pretty much is going to need to go. And we can add the path here. So when we look at water storage, I'm going to have a whole storage system over here. I've already thought I'm going to have it around here somewhere. So that's another thing we can start prepping. Oh, this is done. Happy days. Let's get that there. We can actually pause it for now because we don't have the uh, rec necessary equipment or uh, resources to make bread. I completely lost my words there. So they seem to be getting this done pretty fast. So I'm guessing we can start with the wheat farm. How long have this got, has this got to grow? It's still got a while. Another 12 days after it gets to 100%. Which is not great. But we'll have to deal with it. Get rid of these last two over here. And then I'm thinking... So if we're going to have the entrance around here... Must be going to be like a double line as well. Something like that. Going out. If we put this like this. And like that. Then I'm thinking we can have some farmhouse on the side here. So if I do that, that can reach pretty much everywhere. I want wheat going, you know what? We are gonna do some aesthetics to it as well, but I don't know if we're gonna do all food because we're gonna try and get a massive amount of population. We might not do all the food possible. Do I have fences? <laughs> I'm back on the fences. You, you know it, I know it. We're gonna have fences. We could do something like that. And then, because that's going to be like the gate going in, right? And then we'll square this bit off and we'll have a wheat farm. Now, I don't know if I would need that much wheat. I don't think I will. But these guys don't have the beehives like the folk tell do. Oh wow, they did that fast. And then we can go something like that. You know what? I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm digging this. I might change it around. I might change it around a bit. Okay, give me two seconds. And there you go. There's our wheat farm done. But <laughs> all the water's gone. All the water is completely gone. And that is because we're using way too much of it. So that is a problem. I thought this would last a lot longer than that. Obviously, it can't handle 21 beavers. We do have one more day. We have not much water left. I'm going to turn one of these off because they do actually take water. Um, what, what can I do? We need to expand this water fast. We need to have better storage for the next drought. So let's start thinking about storage area. A nice little storage area. Now I like, I like the new design of the, uh, the farm. It's, it's a nice little wheat farm, right? So we're going to transition over to that at some 
point. Not right now, though. I'm not going to have beavers in it, so we're going to stop that. We're going to keep with the carrots for now. And when I think we've got a decent amount, we're going to transition over. Now, let's put a nice little storage area over here. Now, I've got a nice little idea for storage. We're going to be using ladders and we're going to be using all the storage that we possibly can. Got a large water tank here. I want to see what this one looks like. Now, I can't build this one because this one needs metal. I kind of want to see what it looks like. We've got no water, but we've got water coming back. Oh my God, that was clutch. That was so, so lucky. So we need to deal. Okay, let you know what? Enough messing about. Let's deal with this. So let's get storage over here. Now, we've got to think about what resources are we going to be using here. Now, let's pause this so we can focus. Now, what resources are we going to be using? We're definitely going to be using logs. Other resources, not so much as in terms for the large industrial pile. Because what we've got here, we've got dirt, metal, planks, treated planks scrap metal and logs. Now the other stuff can be produced somewhere else and sent here, especially via a train. Could have a, a small one for a capacity of 20. But I kind of just don't see the point in that because I can mostly use the distribution drop off point to store whatever I need. So logs is definite and there's going to be a wall here. So let's let's just discuss how I want to do this wall quickly because we need to plan it out. I'm going to have something like that and something like this, right? And in the middle is going to be a nice little walkway. So I'm going to do a miniature version here. It's going to be a lot taller. But it's going to be something like that. And then we're going to put like maybe stuff like that to make like a castle feel. We can do. And then we'll have platforms. Most likely going along like that. And that would be our little castle boundary. So if that is the case. That's going to take a lot of wood. <laughs> it's going to take so much wood. It just dawned on me how much wood that is actually going to take. Especially making the towers in the corner. That is actually going to be ridiculous. Okay, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We go big. We go large. Um, so that is going to leave this area here free. So that's pretty good. So if we sort of line up our storage along here, I'll be a happy bunny. Right, so the way I want to do this, I'm actually going to put two because I want to kind of keep it symmetrical, but I want to make like a tower of storage, right? So we're definitely going to need bread. And wheat. Now, do I use smaller storages or should I use the massive storage? I don't know how many beavers I'm going to have in this district alone. So maybe the massive one will be fine. Now, how we're going to do it is that we're going to get a ladder. I'm going to put it in the corner here. Can I put a ladder on top of a ladder? I can. So I'm hoping that allows them to get off at different levels. So then they can go something like this in here. Oh, it doesn't seem to allow it. Oh, okay. So I think it can only go up one level, right? So you've got to go something like that. I see, I see. But that's okay because we can just put another one here. And we can make it go up two levels. Something like... Where are the ladders? Right there. Something like that. And that will allow them to get up here, right? 
I think that's okay. I think I kind I kind of want to turn it around, but I don't think I can because they need to go past it. Yeah, I don't know if they can actually go past the ladder. They can't because there's a thing there. It shows that you can't go past it. <laughs> but I think that's okay. How big is the smaller storage? 200 capacity. That's just not enough. That's just not enough. I could actually, because this is going to, it looks like it's going to be too big, like too tall. So I could do another two storage here and I could have a smaller warehouse for some extra products that we're going to be having or extra resources. Okay, I think I've got it. <laughs> I think I have got it. Now, I don't have metal for this. So that's a bit of a shame right now. So we're going to put water storage somewhere else temporarily. Maybe um, we'll put one of these like over. I want to get over where the water is actually, but there's nowhere here. Here? Perfect. Done. We're going to forget about that for now. So yeah, let's talk about this bad boy. Look at this. Look at the curved stairs. Look how that looks sexy, doesn't it? I like curves. I like these curves. I wish this was in the base game because that's so cool. And we've got a ladder back here. So we've got a lot going on here and it's got like a nice little feel to it. Don't you think? Now we are going to put some design around here. Maybe we'll put some monument or something like that, but we don't have the research at the moment. We could get some fencing around here because we like to border off things just to show it's a different section to the area now i left this bit open because i might want them to have a path out in that direction but yeah this is our little storage area so what can we hold we can hold whatever we want we can hold some berries wherever they may be we can hold some wheat where is that there we go we can hold some wheat flour because i completely forgot wheat flour is a thing if I'm correct yet, yeah, there we go. And we can hold some bread and there you have it. And then this will hold water and water. We'll have water for days. And then that can hold uh, logs. We can just stock up on logs for now. Like I don't really mind about that one. In fact, I'll turn that off because I don't know what I'm going to use that for just yet. So we should have pretty much the necessary things to build the majority of this apart from the metal for this bad boy i am going to delete this because i don't want them to start on this just yet that is going to be a project that is going to be a massive project that we're going to have to deal with sooner rather than later all right so now we've got that sorted we oh look we've run out of water we've really run out of water ain't we all right, we need to get this up and running first. We need to transfer all water over here and then we can start building this up. So let's just get on that. And just like that, we are done. Now, I can't do these ones because I need metal blocks and I haven't got metal blocks at the moment. So that's going to have to be done at a later date, but it's not looking too bad, is it? It's not looking too bad at all. We've already got some storage or some items in storage in there already got some blueberries here and look at that the wheat has just come <laughs> we're just about making the wheat so once we start getting bread i can mostly delete this area and we can just survive off bread and look at that little area that looks lovely and then the wheat's going to go in there we're going to get some people in here and we're going to start making some bread i've also started transitioning over to maple trees because they provide the highest amount of wood and we need that for the space that we have right now and the last bit that we wanted to do today is expand this with some extra water storage which is right there now once i clear up this area i may uh, add some little uh, design to it or something i don't know yet but that is not going to stay like that obviously and we need to block this area for another um water pump down there and yeah, I think we managed to get a lot done in this episode. I've also, I don't know if I've said that, 
I've moved the blueberries over here. We've got our little beaver on post, ready to pick them berries when needed. So I think we've done a great amount. In the next episode, I want to see where is the nearest metal. So we've got metal here, we've got metal here, and we've got metal over here. You know what? I keep forgetting how big this map is. <laughs> this is a massive map. Okay. Because I do want to get these done as soon as possible and have that finished and move on from there. Do we have... Oh, we have enough beaver statues. You know what that means. Ah, oh, that needs metal. I forgot. I'm iron tooth. You need metal for everything. They love their metal in this, in this playthrough. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I hope you're excited as much as I am for this castle that we're going to build because it's going to be pretty damn amazing. Can you just imagine this big island as a castle? It's going to be cool. It's going to be so cool. So guys, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you see, hope to see you on the next episode. Peace. <laughs>